Hey guys, this is Nash back with another room called Screwed OS. Yes, that's the name of the room. It's based on latest Android 8.1 and it has some unique features. So let's get started. So guys, this is the kind of home screen you get from very first boot. It comes with Pixel Launcher as default launcher, but you can always install Nova only launcher if you want. Now this is the latest build, as you can see, it comes with security patch of April 5. Now this room has tons of customization, like status bar customization, quick setting customization, you can change your lock screen, you can customize animation, as well as you can customize your power menu. But the real magic happens here. Gestures, all kind of gestures, like I can swipe my two fingers right and I can go back and if I swipe them left, I can go to recent menu. Isn't it amazing? And guys, I can take this gesture to next level by a feature called gesture anywhere. In this feature, I can draw C and it will open camera. And if I draw L, I can open my browser. Now guys, this is the feature I like most. I must say this is an outstanding feature. You can add or remove gestures per your liking. You can also add swipe up gestures or swipe down gestures. Now this is a must have feature if you do lots of multitasking. Moving on, this room supports always on display, where you can see your time, your notification and surprisingly your battery bar. And if you long press your power button when your screen is off, you can directly turn on your flashlight. Unfortunately, there is no OT updates and while using this room, I had two random reboots. It is a possibility that you might never get a random reboot because you know it's called random reboot and that's pretty much screwed up and one of my favorite features smart pixels that gives me immense battery life is not available in this room so battery life is pretty average i got 7 hours of screen on time on my redmi note 4 which normally gives me around 8 or more hours of screen on time now let's talk about camera this room comes with standard google camera but I don't like that so I will always upgrade my camera to Gcam and if you don't know how to install Gcam, you can find the video in i button. And now I'm going to play PUBG which is most graphic intensive game right now to check if my phone overheat or not. So after playing that game for a while, my phone didn't overheat but somehow my phone started lagging. And that's not a good thing. I hope these things will be fixed in next update. Now for this build, I'm going to give this room 3.5 out of 5. So you can flash this room if you want, download links for all the supported devices will be in the description box below. And if you appreciate my work on this channel, then please like this video and press that bell icon. This is Nan signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.